Meditation has a powerful effect on how we think and feel. It alters our biochemistry and our physiology, and it determines really what our body is going to be responding to from the dis-ease that's presented to it because of how we think and feel. So meditation is a powerful way of treating a lot of health conditions. And there was a study done in circulation uh, in November of this year uh, that showed that people who have heart disease are really helped a lot by transcendental meditation. Fact is, they lowered their risk for having a heart attack or a stroke uh, by about 50% and also of mortality, and this was over a five-year period. And what they found was is that meditation decreased blood pressure, it reduced stress, it helped us deal with anger in, in a more positive way, and that led to less mortality. The study was done at the Medical College of Virginia, and their comment was is that it looks like Transcendental meditation turns on the body's pharmacy, the body's uh, uh, drugs that are, and hormones and, and other chemicals that are powerful neurotransmitters in our body. Of course, that's true because we're constantly in a relationship with our environment. And that relationship dictates on how the body will respond uh, to certain kinds of stresses uh, by producing different kinds of hormones and neurotransmitters and and other uh, compounds that are powerful that affect our biochemistry and physiology. In this particular study, they looked at 200 people that were obese. Half of them were on statins. They had a history of heart disease. Uh, they were also on aspirin, and many of them smoked. And what they did is they did transcendental meditation twice a day, and they found that uh, in the group that did that, because they split them into two groups, there was a much different outcome than the group that just did exercise, diet, and non-specific relaxation. In fact, over the five-year period, there were about 20 serious events in the group that did transcendental meditation and 32 in the control group. That's pretty a significant difference, even though the group is small, but it gives us some kind of idea of how powerful meditation is. We know that meditation puts us into the moment. We're in touch with our deepest sense of who we are at that time. And when we're in that state, we're just open to listening to and to seeing the thoughts that come into mind and and let them go or or if we can because if we do that gives us a chance to open our minds and and just be in a state where we're deeply present as human beings we operate as present tense organisms we don't have the ability to be in the future or to be in the past we really have a series of instantaneous moments uh, that, are, uh, that are focused in the present tense. And if we can be true to that and go deep into that, that moment, each instant that we have, it has a way of giving us a richer experience of what happens in our lives as we go through our daily activities. You can sort of be in a living meditation. It's sort of like being in the zone of life is what I call it. So meditation as a treatment for heart disease is not a big surprise, and it's good that the study was done. And now that we have that kind of data, maybe more people will be looking at some form of meditation as an approach to keep us from having another heart attack, stroke, or early death.